What is up, guys? Welcome back to Talking Ball. I'm your host, Seth, and this is your home for college sports. Let's get right into it. Well, guys, today we will be discussing the Baylor Bears. Coach Dave Aranda, he is 20 and 16 in three years at Baylor. Uh, they look to have a better season this year. They were 6-7 and seven last year. Uh, they do bring back Blake Shapin at quarterback. He's a 6-foot, 205-pound junior. He uh, had a completion percentage of 63.3%. Had 2,790 yards passing, 18 touchdowns. Did throw 10 interceptions on the year. A QBR rating of 57.1. So, uh, Jeff Grimes is the offense coordinator. He spent some time at BYU as the offense coordinator, also an offense line coach for many years and many pro programs. Uh, Matt Pallage is the new defense coordinator. Co he was co-defense coordinator at Oregon last year. So, he comes back to Baylor as the defense coordinator. Uh, they do get Keytron Jackson, a wide receiver from Arkansas, who uh, was a four-star recruit from Texas, but uh, he, things didn't work out at Arkansas, I guess. He transferred uh, to Baylor. He, had, he did some good things at Arkansas, but he looks to have improved and uh, get um, more stats at Baylor. And... And more catches. Um, they uh, uh, start the season September 2nd against Texas State. The Bobcats. And uh, I think the Baylor Bears get the victory in that game. September 9th, they play the Utah Utes in Waco. Um, so, should be a good game. Uh, I do think Utah wins. I like Cameron Rising at quarterback for the Utah Utes. So uh, Baylor falls to Utah Utes. Uh, September 16th, they play Long Island. I do have them winning against Long Island. It shouldn't be much of a challenge for the Baylor Bears. September 23rd, they play Texas at home. And I do see them losing to the Texas Longhorns. I think Steve Sarkeesian uh, has a good season at Texas. Um, September 30th, they play new member, new t Big 12 member, University of Central Florida. And Gus Malzahn, I have them beating uh, the Knights down in Orlando. So October 7th, Texas Tech. Comes to town, and uh, the Bears get a victory over Texas Tech. Then they have a bye week on October 14th. On October 21st, they go to Cincinnati, Ohio, to play the Cincinnati Bearcats. I have them beating the Bearcats. October 28th, they play the Iowa State Cyclones. I do have them beating uh, the Cyclones. November 4th, they play the Houston Cougars, um, and they get a victory in that one as well. November the 11th, they play Kansas State in Manhattan, Kansas, and they lose. November the 18th, they play in Fort Worth against TCU Horn Frogs, and they fall to the Horn Frogs. November 25th, they play West Virginia, and this year they... Uh, get revenge in that game as last year they lost 43-40 to to the Mountaineers but this year I have them beating so 8-4 and four is what I have the Baylor Bears this season um, let me know in the comments what you think if you think Baylor uh, that's too many wins or you think that they, uh, they get more than 8 wins uh, I think they have a good season and go to a good bowl game uh, Dave Veranda looks uh, to build in year four at Baylor. Uh, so uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I do appreciate all the comments, the likes, the subscriptions. Uh, 
If you are new to the program, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, but thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.